let's talk about snippets and if you've seen the video about variables, snippets are similar except that unlike variables where you can target one particular kind of property, with snippets you can target multiple properties at the same time. Now you may also notice we're using a different website but this is just to demonstrate to you that CSS Hero can be used on different types of websites and it's also compatible with the Gutenberg page builder which was used uh, to build this sample website. So snippets, how do we work with them? Let's say for example we wanted to apply a bunch of changes to the who we are text. I'm going to click on it and let's head over to typography and let's make some changes, okay? Let's change the color first of all. We're going to go with something a bit more bluish, okay? And let's change the font size as well, make it a bit bigger. We go all the way to 46 pixels. Let's change the font weight, make it a bit bold with 500. Let's change the style to italic and let's do some transform to uppercase. All right, awesome. So now you can see we've got five different changes, the color, font size, font weight, font style, and of course text transform. Right here, you will see this button called the store edits as snippets. I'm going to click in there. And right now we can provide a name for these bunch of changes. I'm going to call this the header underscore style. And now you have the question, do you want me to replace the current element styles with this snippet as well? So what this does is that if you take a look at the code editor box again, this is the traditional CSS code structure. You have the property and then the value of that property, right? However, if we now say yes, we want to replace this, take a look at what's, what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to click on save and right now you can see all that code, all those lines of code has now been replaced by the name of our snippet. That's exactly what that does. So awesome. We now have our snippet header underscore style. Let's scroll down here and let's say, for example, we wanted to apply that snippet to the portfolio text. How do we do this? I'm going to click on portfolio and then I am going to go outside of all the properties and right here you have the three main tabs on the CSS Hero. You've got properties, snippets and then of course animations. I'm going to click on snippets and then down here you can see your snippets. I'm going to click on your snippets and right there you can see the snippet that we created and the wonderful thing is that we can even preview before applying the snippet. So I'm just going to hover my mouse on the preview button and right there you can now see exactly how the portfolio text would look like if we applied the snippet. It looks good. I'm going to go ahead now, hit apply and there you go. So the wonderful thing is that you can simply go to any other elements you want to apply the snippet to and there you go. You're applying a whole bunch of changes at exactly the same time. Now you could choose to modify the snippet as well if you wanted to. And when you click on modify snippet, you will see the code editor bounce back in right here. So you could either decide to come in here and make the changes directly inside of the code editor, or you could again go over here and begin to make the changes right here from typography, or you could even decide to add uh, additional changes as well. Maybe you wanted to change the background of the text, maybe add some images, add some filters, things like that. You can add or remove uh, existing properties in your snippets. So that's exactly how you can create and apply your snippets to multiple elements. Now, in addition to being able to create your own snippets, you can also use the pre-built snippets already provided by CSS Hero. And how do you do this? Let's say, for example, we wanted to redesign the Meet Our Team button. I'm going to click on it. And then right here, I'm going to head over to Snippets. And right now, you can see the different types of snippets already built for us. We're dealing with the button. I'm going to click on Buttons right here. And now you can see the different types of buttons created for us. We have a 3D button, a traditional button, a gradient button as well. You have another one with a transparent background and so on. Awesome. Okay, so let's see how these work. I'm going to head back to the top and I do like this 3D and you can even see that we can apply a preview by simply hovering a mouse on the preview button 
And right now you can see mid our team has changed. We have the 3D effects, we have a border radius. We can even modify certain things like the color, for example. So let's say, for example, we don't like the blue color and we want to stick with something green. So let's go with maybe this particular shade of green. I'm going to click on OK. And right now, if we preview, now you can see the newly redesigned snippet. And I like this. I'm going to go ahead now and simply hit apply. And there you go. Magically, we now have made our team button using the snippet created by CSS Hero. And again, you have different options in here. If you want to go with a gradient, well, we do have that you can preview, you can change the color if you wanted to, and then simply apply. But it's not just buttons, okay? We also have the utils. We have shadows, dividers, backgrounds, icon sets, hover effects. And just as an example, let's take a look at hover effects and see what we have here. So right here, we can apply different kinds of effects to elements so that whenever they are hovered on, you will see that effect. So let's say, for example, we applied the push effect. Now, if we hover on meet our team, now you can see that push effect. It goes backwards and comes uh, forwards again. Let's scroll down here, see what else we have. We have the grow rotate. This is interesting. Let's apply that and let's see. Okay, so now you see that's the grow rotate effect right there. Let's come down here. You've got the wobble horizontal. Let's apply this one. And there you go. That's the change. So again, you have all these pre-built snippets which you can apply. You can modify them. You can preview them. And then if you like the effects, you can just simply go ahead and apply them with a click of a button. So the point here is that they helped you to quickly uh, redesign whatever elements that you feel need to be redesigned without you having to write any code. So that's it for snippets and I'm pretty sure you will find them very useful as you continue to design your site using the CSS Hero plugin.